hello welcome back to my channel the squig check out my instagram squig.effects and everything will be listed below today i'm going to be doing a knife in the face and this was an idea from an instagram account <clears throat> if you go to my instagram their account will be tagged below so go check them out okay so my dad th this isn't metal this is plastic i got it at a cheapy store at the reject shop it, um my dad just melted it and twisted it so it's got something to stick to when we stick it to our face not that way that way you get it okay so i'm going to be using eyelash glue to stick it on with because I ran out of latex and this is the closest thing I have. I tested it out before, it's pretty sticky and should work. So first you need to plan out where you're going to put it. So I'm going to put mine about there. You can put it up here and do anything really. Or you could snap this off and put it on your cheek and you can put the inside bit in your mouth so you can see it and it looks like it's going through. That's pretty cool. So I'm just now layering up the eyelash glue on the knife and I'll be placing it on my face so I can see where it sits. Um, I'll be layering it up on my face and the knife as well so that I make sure that they stick together. So now I'm pulling apart a tissue so I get all the individual layers. Now I'm placing them on the back. Now I didn't do many of these because I didn't intend for you to see the back but I'm just showing you if you wanted to have a long wear or if you wanted to see if people could look at the back. Um, this was how you would cover it up but this is just me temporarily getting rid of the knife. Now I'm going back over the top with the eyelash glue just to push down all the edges to blend it into my skin and even though I'm voicing this a week later I'm still struggling to get tissue off of my face so eyelash glue works extremely well and it's super hard to get off. So this is some of my wax that I've used and I've saved. And I'm just putting that on the front of the knife so it looks like it's actually going into our skin. If you watched the first video I made on my channel, you can see how I use my wax and how to use it properly and how to make it. So this is just me playing around with it. And this is me struggling to open my water paints. So this is my skin coloured water paint, it will be linked down below with all the rest of the materials that I used. 
but I'm just putting that over the back once again showing you what you can do to make the back look decent I mean this isn't the best thing in the world but you can layer it up and just go full and make it look amazing but So I'm going in with the red water paint and just putting around irritation in the skin. And going in with a bit of pink so I don't just look yellow and dead. This is my smudge palette and I'm going to be using the yellow, the skin colour, the darker skin colour and kind of a peachy bruised tone to put I'm around on all of it. Oh, yeah, I know. I was going to do that originally. But... Okay, so now I'm going to do the red one. So that was my baby brother Archie. He wanted to feature and he's also known as Baby Squig. <laughs> so I'm just going over the wax and I'm just putting on more of that watercolour paint and the eyeshadows, just layering it up so it looks more and more like skin. <laughs> and this is my nan and my grandma wanting to feature in my video. So this is some new blood that I got and that's what it looks like when it dries and it dries really quickly. I got it from Riot and I'm absolutely in love with it. It's amazing. I don't know how I live without it actually. It drips well. It's thick but runny. I don't know how that works but it's amazing. Once again, that will be listed down below. You're wrecking another knife. Yep. Ah! Now that's too sharp. So, the knife that I just snapped, that is Ow. how I can use it so it looks like it's going Ow. through your mouth. Ow. My beard. Oh. Really <laughs> well. That really hurt. Okay, so now I'm putting more wax on the back because, you know what? Let's just go in for a stab wound because why not? So I'm going in with my black face and body paint. I got a new one that's not dried up and clumpy and I absolutely love this brand. It works really well. It's nice and smooth, full coverage and once again will be linked down below. I got this at Riot but I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere because it's just amazing. So now I'm putting eyeshadow on the back so it looks like the front and now I'm filling it all in with glorious blood.
subscribe to become a squiglet and join the squig family if you like this please like subscribe and check out my instagram which is squig.fx thank you for watching and stay tuned for more